know the person. Like you guys are hitting it off. You probably had sex once or twice. Okay. Um, and just shit has been normal. Your schedule hasn't changed. His schedule hasn't changed. And um, he wants you to take a COVID test before you come back and see him. Do you feel any kind of way? Well, I mean, <laughs> nothing's changed. If nothing has changed, my schedule hasn't changed. His you schedule just, you has just want changed. me to take one just so that way you you feel comfortable. I I I don't have any problem with that. Okay. What about you, Ed? No one has a problem. Oh, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually. Okay. Honestly, I've seen some people react. I, I've seen people react wild to that too, and I feel like that's that's a normal thing. Oh, that, yeah. I mean, what about you? Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Accept the rules. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You gotta you gotta know what the rules are to play. You gotta know. Hey guys, oh, we missed y'all so much. I do miss y'all so much. So the 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 idea, I guess was that if a man can't protect you, then he can't date you? Facts. Okay. If I don't feel protected, I'm not even getting wet. Like, I don't feel like you need to, I don't feel like you need to fight everybody that like looks at me funny because I actually genuinely hate men that do that. Like, oh, yeah, there's yeah. a certain, there's a certain time and in, in place where, yeah, you do need to kind of assert yourself in order for it to be known mm-hmm. that like, all right, the woman's not comfortable. You're not. Video keeps pausing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, but uh, not. There's a certain time where I feel like, yeah, a man needs to let it be known that, like, hey, nah, the woman's not being heard. She's not being respected. So, like, you need to chill. Mm-hmm. But like other times, I kind of feel like, you know, I can handle it because I, I'm a I'm a grown woman, and and I I typically do get these types of interactions sometimes. So, you know, mm-hmm. let me sometimes say like, all right, you know what? No, I'm not interested. If there is somebody being persistent and I'm not comfortable or they're not listening to me, then yeah, I do want a man that's able to be like, no. She's good. Yeah, like you're not listening to this woman. You're but it has, like, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a balance. I said that before. Sure. Is it for me or not? Oh, okay. It has to be a balance. You can't be like, yo, my nigga, she good. Yeah. Like, but like, I'm you're obviously just like, like no, even like, all that, all that rah-rah energy is not even necessary sometimes and like honestly there are some times where it is and it's like all right this person is wild and they're tripping and like i don't want you to make me feel like no you're gonna have to eat that you're gonna have to eat that disrespect tonight because like i don't i don't want you to make me feel like that nah but like at the very least, like, say something, you know. But I also wouldn't feel protected by a nigga who only did the rah rah shit, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shows me you don't have so you don't have awareness. Yeah, you put me in danger, and you put you me in danger. Because you know like, now the niggas start shooting. Yeah, we both we all going yeah. down because like, you don't rah rah yeah. shit. Yeah, because when you want to be protected, it's not so much necessarily you know rah rah, but you know what I'm saying. If it's as much as like nah, you know what I'm saying? She's with me, bro. She's good. Like, Respectfully, or, yeah. You know what I'm saying like. Because if you're doing rah-rah all the time, then I'm, I'm going to even question that. I'm like, bro, you trying to get a shot. Yeah, you trying to get a shot. That's why I say you got to find a balance. Right. You got to say he's going to shoot you and he's going to shoot me too. Like, right. We all about to get shot up because you want to be on some rah-rah shit. You got to become with the respectfully. Like, yo, now she good, bro. Oh, hey, man. Let me just need a rah-rah back. So, what y'all telling me is y'all have no questions? Oh, y'all not about to request? Y'all didn't come with the questions tonight? We got to request you? Is it football? Like, what's going on? What's because good? We y'all got nervous? Questions. Y'all nervous? But uh, we'll add you. What's up? Hope your hair brushed. I actually had a few questions that people sent anonymously. Okay. I got a good one, and this is for everybody. I want everybody to respond. So it's a very DMV question. The question is, how come when you go out on a date, you be hiding like you know you got you know? Why do you feel like you have to hide if you're calling a date in a DMV? I hate that. I really hate that. Like everybody always, everybody. always does this. Like if you see somebody who you know on public, they really be dead ass be looking like, yo, act like you don't see me. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just saw a meme the other day that if somebody was like, yeah, like if you somebody who I'm fucking and you see me out, like don't say nothing to business. me. But mind you, I'm a fuck you later. But like, we got done. <laughs> Testing the water somewhere else. But, and I really was looking at it and I was like, um, are y'all dead ass? Like, we see you. Yeah. Like, I, I actually see you. Like, what is that about? I don't give a fuck, personally. 
Listen, we, don't have, we're not, we don't have any type of... Ooh, look at the time. No, Carly. You better answer that question. Why y'all be hiding? We don't have no type of commitment or no type of arrangement. Like, There's nothing to be hiding for. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, right. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. Now, if it's because you know why, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to sneak digging. I'm going to tell you what my thing is with it. The DMV... I'm hiding if my date isn't cute. The DMV has <laughs> a lot of immature people in it. And yeah. the DMV, because it's a very popular popularity clout chase driven place, it's a lot of people who don't got shit to talk about mm. except for what the <laughs> fuck they're speculating about what's going on in your life. Mm. So for nosy, it's a thing of like if I'm out with my if it's like a guy like oh these my are good man, that's different. But if it's not like you're my man, like if I would ha- if I wouldn't feel comfortable explaining what we are to my mother, then like mm. no, I don't really like. I, I mean, I'm not saying I have an issue going in public with you, but of course, like I, no, I'm not trying to go places where. My friends and family, nope. or other potential suitors, or whoever. Might somebody be there. said, "Nope." Next thing you know, you're on TMZ. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Somebody and else said. Somebody else said. Everybody, somebody else said everybody knows everybody. Yeah. And somebody else said sometimes I just don't remember your name. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it in the sense that, like, if it's not serious and I'm doing sneaky links, like, I'm gonna put my head down. I'm, gonna, I'm but I'm gonna mind my business, just like I hope that you will mind your business. But even if it's not coming serious. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's like if it's becoming serious. Like, y'all, I've been in situations before where I've been in New York, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I've literally, like, ran into somebody who knows my baby father. My baby father's from here, from Gatorsburg. I've literally been in a whole nother city, ran into a nigga who just knowed a nigga, and the next day it's like, oh, I, I Everybody know. Everybody me that, you know what I'm saying? They thought you was out with this nigga. You that, like, why the Fuck, we all have nothing else to talk to about. Do. Yeah, just start. So for me, a little drama. I'm, saying, I'm just like, bro, people people have, have, nobody needs to know where I'm out. Yeah. Who have you hollered during the quarantine that you probably wouldn't have before it? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. People started looking real good when you couldn't see Honestly. nobody else in the club. You know? Honestly, when you can't see me, you gotta, you gotta settle for people. That's our, no, no, no. That sneaky link got a little bit sneakier. I swear mm-hmm. to God to you. Because you know why? All of y'all that was doing that little sneaky link at Rose Bar afterwards with your little side joints and dipping off where somebody could see you. Now, you got an excuse to tell somebody, oh, I can't go, go out with you because of COVID. Oh, you gotta come there and Yep. Your sneaky links got a little bit sneakier. Yeah, right that's real. There's so many comments. Yes, y'all. I, we had a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Protect you. Links. Whoa, that's oh. a lot. Okay. How do we miss these? Okay. Um, oh, these are from before. Yeah. Somebody oh. Oh, so they don't, they don't, they okay. don't. Do okay. Somebody, okay. Somebody said accept my request. Your request okay. is about to be accepted after this first it's question. Legend. Okay. Why didn't started. you come? To the workout because I'm here. I'm working. <laughs> like yeah, I had some podcast. First of all, you didn't give me no details Did on the workout, anyways. Um, you've been ducking us, so I'll be there tomorrow though. <laughs> <laughs> I was here because I didn't work out real bad. Yeah, I'll be at the workout tomorrow. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so here's the topic: mixed signals. Beginning new relationships without ending of the previous ones. Ooh. Okay, that's cheating. Ooh. That's not. That's cheating. Beginning. <laughs> beginning. People be. People the be, the um, overlap is cheating. You're not. Yeah, you right that shit up. What about you when you're married and you're divorced and you finalized? Isn't it the same thing? Mm. No. no. Not necessarily because divorce takes a she, longer she's time. She's in a relationship. I'm <laughs> single. <laughs> like that's, 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 divorce is like a legal drawn out thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be in a relationship. So you yeah. And to, you can literally send a text message like oh, that's okay now honestly <laughs> but you okay? can no it's not but you can like if you're yeah, ending yeah. something like it. you can end it like you have ways in which people act like well I don't know today not a good day because it's her birthday and then tomorrow some other birthday and the next day after that like oh you didn't know her mom's birthday her birthday is crazy the relationship wasn't that bad when you couldn't wait 24 hours but that's what I'm saying so it's like but you couldn't but, you, out, but, huh? but something something could have waited it would have either been like, all right, I'm going to hold off telling this person or I'm going to hold off taking something off with this person. But either way, you needed to have that conversation. Okay, Drake. <laughs> real, no, but that's real rap. This is real rap. No, I'm talking about how people like you break up 
and you move on but quick. You, now you still fucking with each other, but you know what I'm saying? Technically, I'm single, motherfucker. Like, no, that's so fun. Yeah. No, that's so fun. But the person, the new other. person, of course, the new person don't like that shit. You feel me? The, the old, old person, person don't like it either. But yeah. what yeah. yeah. like, you say? Fucking with the other person, yeah, you're not nah. breaking. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not. I'm not broken up. I was gonna say if you, if no, if you used to be my joint and you're still hitting, you're still my joint. You're still my joint. No, no, no. We just handled the Sneaky links don't mean I'm with you. I'm single. So if I so like, if you used to be my joint and we break yeah. up, but and like we're still not, having sex, you're still like, like, you broke up. Like, it's not. It's not broke up. But I mean, yeah. I mean, a piece of dick. Don't go talk to somebody else. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get it from you. No, you can, you can, you can go fuck somebody else. And this is so this is the reason why, and this is the reason why I say that because number one, you even going back to someone who you had those strong of feelings for, it's toxic because that person could either still be re- holding on to those feelings or that person could still be holding on to those feelings or you could still rekindle those feelings. But either way, you're spending time with each other and you're physically connecting, which is a, which is not allowing them to move on to somebody else. That is a mixed signal. That is the definition of a mixed so, so signal. Question, since y'all, so, uh, I'm going to talk to y'all, but we need more people to request. There's got to so be a right time to break up, right? So if you're in a relationship, your girl's pregnant, which I'm not, it's not working out. Ooh. You wait till she has a baby to break up with her or do it right. um, actually six months? Wait, honestly, I think that you should do it when you feel like, like yeah, you're like you're right you're not you're not you're not in this anymore. Uh-huh, and that's, yeah. I don't think you're doing anybody a favor. Why so? Because because at the end of pregnancy, there are physical things that you literally can't do. That it's like whether you like me or not, I'm in this physical position. Be because of you, mm. motherfucker. You but you don't have to be. A, but you don't have to be in a relationship to be physically there. I mean, for no, that's true. No, that's true. But the truth is, most people with good sense, most women with good sense, are uncomfortable with you having a baby on the way. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, that's <laughs> facts. But you can be. But you can be single. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to jump but, into a relationship. You, you can but, be single. But if you're single and trying to date. Yeah, yeah, that's a little wild. That's a little like, you know what I'm saying? Where your priorities at, bro? Yeah, like, yeah. you got a whole short. Get on the way, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, I agree. The, 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 the I agree with your baby. Like, you got a family. You I agree that she no longer like my dad. What if it's your child? You know, I mean, like, like, the game is on. Like, All right, Lenjo, we got you. I agree with you. Hey, Lenjo, he's so pressed. He gone. Yeah, he's gone. Lenjo, you want to say something? Yeah, he's gone. He gone. All right, guys. And his his Wi Fi better be sturdy. <laughs> Wi Fi better be sturdy. Have you dated a man who says he's married for papers only? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, baby? Yeah. Oh, you got a fresh cat. Why do you got a line of money? Hold on, hold on. He already knew. He hold already on. knew what type of time. Hold on, step into the light. Step into the light. Okay. It looks real good. Hello, welcome. It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. What? You got a girlfriend? You got a girlfriend now? No. You looking real good. <laughs> you looking real good. You looking too good to be single and in bed alone. Right. <laughs> oh, fast. Those two things are not That's actually you're right. You're right. You're right. I mean, are you in bed alone? Like, do you go to bed alone? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, there still could have been a lady in your life. Yeah, so we're just trying to, we're trying to, you know, clarify. <laughs> Alex just got excited because our pizza got here, y'all. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, are you ready? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you ready? Are you are you ready? Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, but give me a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta get something real bad. Okay, I'm gonna go first while Alex figures things out. All right, so we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna. What'd you say? <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a, a this or that social distance dating edition. All right, so you're just gonna tell me which ones you into, and um, ladies, y'all just tell him which ones you trying to do. Okay, um, drive-in movie or Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Come on, man. Look, drive-in theaters have old movies. Not the new ones. The well, new in COVID, they doing like 
Yeah. Now, so get get with the time. Baby. And a, a classic is a classic. <laughs> okay, tubing or paddle boats? Tubing. 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 Yeah. Uh, probably paddle boats, so I can feel like I'm like more more in, in hitting control. Yeah, all right, okay. Biking. Like tubing, I'm like, I can like fuck around and be lost. Yeah, I, honestly, you don't want to get flipped over and just be like drowning. And <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to be. Biking in the city or a late night monument walk? <laughs> you already know what I'm choosing. Biking in the walk, more bad. What did a bike do to you? Did did somebody do something? Like, did a bike do something to you? <laughs> you fell off a bike. Bikes, but I feel like if the purpose is to get to talk to someone, then the monument is just a stage. You get a chance to talk to somebody. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. Okay. You know okay. Some people like doing you know a little physical activity, but yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> a virtual cooking class or an outdoor paint and sip. Outdoor, uh, you said, you said paint and sip? Yeah. Yeah, outdoor paint and sip. Damn, I be wanting to do a cooking class. <laughs> I be, Listen, I be wanting to eat. eat. <laughs> on YouTube and just buy some ingredients so you can do the same thing now. Mm. So I would like to interact with the, with the, the, the person, so, but, hi. Um, zip lining or bumper cars? Cars. Hiking or a rooftop dinner? <laughs> rooftop dinner. Wonderful house. Well, right, that's your question. All right. So, do you enjoy being choked? Oh, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> you brought it back. Oh, wow. <laughs> we back to this. <laughs> what time was it? It took Alex. I thought you wanted to warm it. I thought you asked for something spicy. (laughs) You did just say make it spicy for me. (laughs) Okay. 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 All right. So do I enjoy being Mm choked? It all depends. If it's like super aggressive, I'm I'm not with that shit. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine how we feel. I mean, don't like. So it got to be a light hand around your throat. Like, like, Alex is wild. <laughs> Alex is a wild boy. Just as long as it's not aggressive. <laughs> as long as it's not aggressive, man. There's it's always levels of things. Don't don't go in there trying to trying to use my shit, bro. <laughs> okay. All right. What is what is some shit that somebody surprised you with? Some shit? Yes, like something, <laughs> so, something that that surprised you in a relationship or in like an intimate setting. <laughs> wow! Wow! Surprise! He's a wife. Wow! <laughs> what has surprised me? You know what? You know what? Let me see. I have, I have, I have a couple, a couple, but I'm, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> so, get, get. You don't have to. You don't have to disclose any names. This is a safe place. I think. It's a safe place. It's like the internet. It's a safe place. It's not safe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I think he's right there. Surprise me. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is happened like a few, a few years ago. So me and this, this lady, we're talking lady, about it. Okay. We're about it be, be intimate, have sex, right? So I'm I'm in the bed, and she can go out the bathroom in like her little lingerie, but she got one of them like little like dominatrix max on. Like, <laughs> like, you wasn't I'm ready. Looking at, and us, I'm looking at her like, who you doing? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? You do have to ease somebody into that. You can't just. <laughs> I am not a fan of being tied up. I'm not with that. Mm. Yeah. Wait. I'm, I'm too big. <laughs> Wait, not I'm too big. Not even for like. I'm in the jail. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine like you in the mood ready to get 
down and then they come out the room. I'll get down. Well, what's your change? Oh, she's into that. It's ridiculous. You gonna try it if that's what she's into? <laughs> Stuff like that has to be a conversation, like. Right? <laughs> so if your wife, you but no, if your wife wanted to do it, would you be with the shits? If your wife wanted to do it, would you be with the shits? If my wife wanted to be doing it, would I be with the shits? I don't know. I probably would. I probably would. That's, that's a whole different kind of space, but that's some American like, horror story. That's just some girl, your girlfriend. It's like a, you and I. We do this. That's it. But handcuffs, no. Okay, I'm gonna keep tied up. That's all. How does one have that conversation? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so Simi, Simi asked, how does one have that conversation? How does one have that conversation? How does that conversation go? I feel like you just say it. That takes the fun out. I feel like you just say it. I feel like you can, I feel like, I feel like when you, when you're at that level. You don't know if somebody's on that Yeah, like, all right, what are you into? You into this, you into that. Like, you eventually have that conversation. I'm like, oh, what would you try? And then eventually it's just like. You know, part of good sex though I is having like, like spontaneity. Mm-hmm. spontaneity. Yeah, spontaneity, but also uh, communication. It depends on how spontaneous you talk. Yeah, spontaneous within the confines of, of what, what, what my boundaries are. Yeah. 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 where you are. Why you in yours? How would you like to be approached? Like, like if a woman is interested, like. Honestly, honestly, here, here, here's some, here's some, here's some free game for ladies. Wow, free game! Thank you. Keep it simple. <laughs> so when I mean like keep it as simple, I mean like a simple hey, how you doing? My name is so and so. Or you know, how are you? And yeah. Period, it, it can go, and then while you're having the conversation, you can like just keep it general, make it like four talking points like where you're from, you know. Ooh. But how do you know that that person's not being nice, y'all? Uh, that, that, that don't, yeah, please don't follow that advice. Like, how do you <laughs> differentiate like somebody just trying to make please don't follow friend? that advice? And somebody trying to go snap. <laughs> right. You gonna walk in there with four talking points and then it's gonna be like, what do you want? Yeah, they're friends up. <laughs> like, where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing in this park? Man. So it, 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 
Yeah, you want me to, so you want a, an interested woman to just enter your DM and just start talking about four or something? Four matters. different things. Just, just you try to zoom fast. Just <laughs> like a nigga will leave you on red so fast. Ladies, do not listen. That's to what I'm saying, bro. Wait, wait, wait now. With four talking, we talking about you gonna put us on game. What's the game? Random. Talking okay, explain. <laughs> no, getting to know people is a part of is a part of the dating process. I agree, but getting somebody to respond to you or getting them to know that you're interested is it just? Maybe your baby. Don't tell them to come in with a corny ass line. Just have your outline ready, ladies. <laughs> I mean, the latest mad ladies on the live right now trying to figure out. They talking about oh he cute, oh he this. They want to know how to approach you. So you talking about you putting this onto the game? You're teaching us how to teach a Zoom lecture class. We don't want that. <laughs> We don't want that. Like, listen, <laughs> listen. Ledger was coaching y'all to fly in the DMs and he did not respond. No, right? Just so he can respond. Right. <laughs> Come with the book report. Right. That's great. Have success whenever you shoot your shot. Because everyone knows you're not going to take every shot. But you still got to shoot, correct? Yeah. You know, you have to use your words. You have to be creative. You have to be charismatic. I don't think you gotta be that creative. That sounds so stressful. It does. <laughs> right. Meanwhile, there's somebody out here just texting, come drop that nigga. They're <laughs> getting responses, okay? And today's just being a man. Story. Like, don't watch his story and reply to all of his stories that think y'all, y'all like the end now. You have to come in there with some with some proper procedure. Uh, That's another thing. People, Bro, will, yeah, people will see people will see you react to, to, to a, a story and they, and they think like, oh, that's something. And it'll be like, I still don't know what the fuck you want. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, just, you might just really like my story. My story do be lit. Like, I mean, so you got to put my inbox some poop. <laughs> right. I, I, think, I, think, I think the direct approach usually would work. Uh, maybe that's just me. Just just say, hey, I think you should I'm text me. Or, hey, I think you should call me. Or, hey, like. I say that shit. Well, yeah, I, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, nah. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I my shot. I've, I've, no, I've, I've actually, I've actually had people do that to me, and I've, I've, I've done that to other people. Like, why not? If you're interested, and I'm interested, when I learned how to shoot my shot. I went in a nigga DM and said, hey, you look good. Yeah. And like people, men, men had approached me and told me like, yeah, you look great. And I'm like, okay, cool. You should text me. Like, why not? You don't know that I'm cute. Hey, you look good. Take my number down. After I text you, I might call you and then that might turn into, all right, yeah, let's hang out. Let's link. But like all of that, like oh, I'm gonna come at you with like four different bullet points. We gonna talk about this. That, 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 that. You just want to know what it is. Like, like, like a real person, a person, not like the DM. And a real person, a person. If, if I'm vibing with somebody and like I don't know when I'm gonna see you again, I'm gonna need your number to get in contact with you. So yeah, you should text me. You should call me. You should follow me. Please give me a conversation. Don't just. Shoot your shot, like, just give me, give me some comments. No, nah, sometimes there's not even time for that. There's been times where, like, I, I peeped somebody and they was peeping me and I'm about to leave or they're about to leave and it literally was just a, you should follow me or you should, you should text me. And that was it. And after that, then cool, we can talk after that. But if you're too scared to ask for a number or just say, put my number in your phone or just grab the right phone and put it in there. Like, just Ooh. let them have their a way to contact oh, you. that's a charge. Yeah, if you do that, don't hear it to a woman. You want to judge. Man. Actually, somebody's a couple of my friends have had that done to them. Can y'all tell me how y'all like to be approached? Listen, he's a very distinguished gentleman. I give him credit for because if you come to my DM, please come direct. Like, <laughs> I don't need no combo. Like, like, oh, you look good. Like, Lejo is a very distinguished gentleman. He's on average level. Ladies, do not shoot in the DM. He's going to leave you on red. Period. Yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're not going to the red one. You're going to the random woman and grab her phone. That's Definitely. I know. I, 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 I have a friend. I have a friend who that definitely right happened right. to her and it, it worked. That's accessory. <laughs> for right, for freedom for it. Like, yeah, it worked. You grab my phone, nigga. It's not personal. Nah, that's not but the thing is, is that I'm not saying like, oh, you're just doing this off, off of nothing. Like, yeah, like sometimes, yeah, when you do make an eye contact with somebody or you do have a good conversation, you already know that, yeah, I want this conversation to continue and it seems like this person does too. So. I'm going to take it to the phone. I'm caveman behavior. Uh, how do you like being a person? It's a little <laughs> Naked? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck did I just like? Naked? I'm just supposed to pull out a titty? 
I don't know. Like, I, I, I do Grabbing like phones phone. definitely works. Like a bold woman. Yes, I like Jadena can grab my phone like, for sure. I like bold women. Everyone else gets popped. Read the context clues, though. Yes, that's the thing. Like, if you're reading the context clues and you realize, like, all right, me and this person are connected by vibing. Like, yeah. Or, like, honestly, for real, for real, if every time I look at you, you're looking at me like, yes, you want to say something. Yeah. Like, all right, cool. You should text me. What you should call like? me. <laughs> no, no, real shit, yo. What? Y'all know how to be in public smack. <laughs> Most of the time. I also have a stereotype. That, I'm honestly, honestly looking at people because I be smacked and staring off in the street. Honestly, if, and then sometimes I realize people are like, you're looking because you want to talk? Oh, God. No. Honestly, I, I'm not. I know, I know it's possible to have that, like, cross in communication or that mix of single where you're thinking that somebody's looking at you and they want you and they don't. But that, that doesn't happen very often. I've, I've never seen that happen. Yeah, I just like, put laughing my ass over the street ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do both. You can't be trusted. <laughs> you can't be trusted. I think that Ellen, I fail. Men are like their, their rejection when men reject people. They're more like mean with it. What is the best DM? Well, every man that's rejected me, I feel like women are mean. I feel like every man that's rejected me has let me down easy. I don't know. Every single one. I just feel like I. I they be know, they be I like no, honey. I think no. every time. I've seen it, <laughs> yeah, no. I've, 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 everybody has yeah, let me. every everyone is. It's it's been really it's been really easy for me too. It's been like mm, yeah, I'm not going to try that. Mm. And I'll be like, all right, I mean, I'm still going to, but. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, guess. <laughs> I like a good time. I'm a little problematic, but like the fuck, <laughs> y'all can't. Do y'all have any questions for Linda? Yeah, someone asked me what was the most successful DM. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull it up. The question is, what is the best DM slide you have received? What has actually worked? Okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. The best DM slime that I ever seen was like this. This lady, she had like put like like three basketballs. Are you like, shooting? Right, three basketballs. So she shot three and shots. Like, I'm telling. And, and, <laughs> and then she was like, "Hey, I see that my ball rolled 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 onto your court. You want to pick it up? Three balls? Uh, Maddie said, tell it so I could go do it.'" <laughs> I did the dog one. So, so, so that that definitely sparked a conversation, but uh, past there, it, it wasn't very successful. So I guess no, it didn't work. Um, but to be honest, most most of the things that work is when I initiated, not the other way around. You know what? Um, I don't really, I don't really do like a whole entire like line. Like oh my, <laughs> something put in there like. Ooh, I probably should learn some of those. I don't got none of those. I'm real childish. I'm telling you, people do a whole bunch of stuff. Like, 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 I'm real childish. If you fine, you fine. I definitely like, I feel like you can just say, I feel like you can just say, I need a hinting to nigga. Like, hey, nigga. I'm gonna need you to shoot your shot. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna position myself. Head. I'm gonna position myself close enough for you to be able to <laughs> make a shot. Just send the ads at like 10, 15 p.m. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah. that works too. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. There's been a couple times where it's like, yo, you drop a pin and somebody would be like, oh, that's where you at. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I used to have a lot of trouble shooting my shot. I learned how to shoot my or shot. Like, or, I mean, or like that. No, to be honest, to be honest, I had to teach Alex mm-hmm. how to shoot a shot. Retire the eyeballs. Hey, yo. Jeff said retire the eyeballs. Did you really teach me, Lenjo? I don't know how that was classic. The eyeballs, I feel like they, everybody understands. I don't know if you taught me. I just asked you for a little bit of advice. I don't mean you taught me, bro. I get, listen, I gave you all the tools. Oh, wow. Oh, the keys. Uh, oh, please. Actually, can you pass me my water? Please. Oh, wow. That's what I want. You want all the credit. I'm all right, Linda. All right, next caller, because yeah. next time. Next right, time. Linda, we're going to go We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for having me. Of course. Bye. Thank you for coming again. I would climb you. DJ, up. bring us in. Hey. <laughs> hey. She said I would climb you. Like, Aw. He's trying to embarrass There's a lot of y'all in here, and a lot of y'all got some questions. And a lot of y'all have some things to say. He's not responsible for my success, first of all. He is high maintenance. He said he's responsible. So he's a high maintenance. He is, man. yeah. He, he is, is a high maintenance ass man. Yeah. And I know you can hear me, sweetie. But you <laughs> uh, uh, ladies, watch out. 
when y'all shoot his DMs, I would be right now. Yeah, but you have to give him casual conversation first. Well, he wants you to be his Zoom teacher. Don't have any standards anymore. <laughs> Next caller. Okay. All right, we need another caller, though. Um, we're going to take a couple of questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is, why are there more women looking, attending single events than men? Because <laughs> men don't the actually want to be in relationships. Yeah, single events. Yeah. And why would he be there? The, the man doesn't need options. He's got why would he be there? He's talking three. Like, so, so, so that goes to show men have men always have a larger roster than women. Is that no, correct? That's not, that's not no, that's not. Can I? Um, can I tell you, I don't like think I've ever been to like a single event other than like, you know, of course, like we we throw them, but like yeah, I, I throw single events. Actually, I've actually, never actually funny enough, that. funny enough, I've never been to a singles event. I was gonna go to a singles event because I throw single events, and my friend here, Kaya, shout out to Makai, put your hand up in the chat. Hey. She throws single events, so I was gonna go to hers, but it didn't happen. I but like baby girl, I'm gonna come to your <laughs> single event when it happens. To be on the other side of the fence because I've never been on the other side of the Same fence. Question. I, I haven't attended, and, and my reasoning for not attending was definitely that I I was in a relationship for a really long time when like you know people kind of like mm-hmm. did that whole entire thing in like your twenties. Like I feel like now in my thirties, it just feels really awkward for that to be the way in which I engage with men because I don't necessarily need somebody <laughs> to create an event. For me to meet men, like you know, it's like oh, you know, you go to the gym, you meet men. You go to the grocery store, you meet men. <laughs> like there's other places I feel like where it's like you can engage with other people. You have a you have a singles event. I meet somebody who's in a relationship. Are you liable? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you straight up, you whatever happens, yeah, that's, that's on y'all. That's on y'all. I'm setting up the atmosphere. I'm setting up the venue. I'm giving you the function. And anything bring, that happens, we bring some of our fine you. ass, smart mm-hmm. ass, successful ass friends. My one, my one request from the event is that if y'all niggas get married, it does work. Out. Give me my <laughs> chance. <laughs> invite invite them in it. It. Yeah, give me my chance to have a speech for y'all wedding. But if that shit don't work. I don't know none of y'all niggas. Like I'm that's it. Chopper saying this is my wife's last name. No. My wife's last name. Speed dating is cool too. I've never tried it. So I actually plan to throw a speed dating event. The DMV is definitely emotionally unavailable. The DMV is emotionally unavailable. As a whole. Ain't nobody in this bitch. Hey, Bobby. Open bars for men. Y'all need to start requesting, otherwise, I'm going to request you. And like I said, I best make sure your beard is fresh. No, y'all selection of of who y'all invite. No, our selection is good. First of all, I have some fine ass, smart ass, educated okay, ass friends. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> Abba's about to get it. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I saw your friend. She's actually ugly. <laughs> one thing I do want. I wasn't gonna say. One thing I do want you to understand is that mm-hmm. women, you have to stop advertising yourselves the way that, like, 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 like that. Right, we don't. They don't dudes don't care. They don't about give that. a fuck about like, fuck about like, about don't, yeah. like nobody. I've never met a man that's like. I don't care who graduated from. Great, great, great. We like that. That's cool, right? But that's not a selling you- point. Yeah. You you just need to raise your standards. That's not a setting no, point. Just don't, just don't, just don't, we don't care. Yeah. Can date, because you have to understand, they can point. marry down. Right. A man will exactly. take a woman That's who loves fair. him, right. who can bring no money to the table, exactly. who can do nothing but care for him and nurture him, and be a happy ass. Right. I know women that date bums. I actually, I actually, I actually realized that when I watched him was blind, and Shorty had hella debt, and I thought. The nigga was gonna leave her. And he just took on her debt like it was his, and I was like, Oh, oh I know, I know, I know that. that affects us both. I was like, No, but that's after that's I saw that, I was like, also oh. how you accumulated the debt because that's a judgment thing. But she I'm, said it. She said she just ran Victoria's Secret credit yeah, card and shit. Yeah, like she went to college, didn't finish, didn't start running up Victoria's Secret credit card. And then work. And she was like, she was like, I don't want to work. Like, yeah. And she told him that she was like, You're probably not gonna want me because I just have hella debt, and it's actually really. 
that 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 I don't even know what I'm saying. Right, but he married her. He married her. He probably has a different relationship. Where it's like, well, I make the I don't know what situation, but some people have a different relationship with money where it's like. You don't have to worry about money because I'll, 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 I'll yeah I'll take and care of it. Yeah. Pride in that. But I just yeah. want to I just want to understand that because I've had conversations with my single female friends and mm-hmm. that's their son. I can't buy a man. I'm educated. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You don't care, dog. You saying stats? No. You said that which house that impresses you? Yeah. 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 I don't even care what they make or what they yeah. that's not okay, gonna okay. my mind. Bring right? that's, that's true because women be, be judging it off of what women want. Yeah, yeah like women. we that's want to make money that like a nigga really don't if you take care of him, you really don't give a fuck about that shit, yo. Mm. Like that's some real You was better off saying really I got some sexy ass shit. friends. That like I don't know what statue get. I got they some sexy ass friends that don't be with the shit. That don't be riding niggas' backs. That don't be like oh, be that, that's it. You ever yeah, 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 that's cool. But you know what? Honestly, I'm a lady. I'm not about to go and put somebody else out there. My friends be way. fucking on the low, like yeah, like I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Some of my friends be out there like that. Like a lot of my friends are. But she gonna tell you. Right, but I'm just saying. My sexy laid back friends, my sexy my friends. Just tell me your friends is cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. My friends yeah. are attractive. Yeah, I don't, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't run down a whole entire list. I don't but I'm a fun ass time. I'm a fun ass time. So the uh, next question that somebody had. You need someone to. I'm a fun ass time. If it's good, it doesn't need to be out right. You need someone else to say that. Cole Stone don't got no commercials. Everybody just know that shit good. <laughs> nice. I like that. Cold Stone don't got no commercials. Everybody just know that shit good. Okay, why don't DC dudes settle down? DC dudes saying they don't care if you don't got money, but stay trying to go Dutch on a date. Ooh, big fat. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I say something real quick? Ooh, can I laugh? Can, 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 can I laugh? Can I laugh? Can I laugh? Just because you dated one DC dude, and that was oh, your yeah, experience. Yeah. Please stop. Please. Yeah, that. I'm that's, any that's any place you are. That's any place you are. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he definitely, he you are. Nah, he definitely checked okay. me on that too. Now, if you dealt with seven DC dudes, hey, okay, you have a good identity sample size. Yeah. But don't that's be don't be from the county dating the county. You get one DC dude. Real shit, boss. Don't be like, way more loyal. Like, 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 they need you. Be. <laughs> nah, um, they need you more than you need them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm born and raised in DC and I'm co-signing. Okay. I think um, somebody else had mentioned DMV is emotionally unavailable. Yeah, so that's like what that's what you're talking up to. Yeah. And a lot of people um that I know of that have had like this same conversation, they've also said that the reason why is because that, you know, DC is one of those places where you find a yeah. lot of young black people yeah. who are like out here. Career driven. Yeah. So the like bag. there there's a lot of fun for like young young professionals. But y'all and, don't know this only exists here in Atlanta. And like maybe No, nah, it maybe doesn't Houston. because no, seriously, listen. That's, that's listen, not nah, get it like this. People that people that live in the country, they do settle down earlier than we do. No, that's what I'm saying. They, they like that whole black I don't think people realize how rare this is. This whole black prominence thing, this probably exists in like Houston, Atlanta, oh, yeah. and maybe DC. It's yeah. the places you can find it. If you go anywhere else, you well, you see this much people with, successful. yeah, if you see this many black people, and you're like, you got a job, you got a good job. This only exists like in three They're like, you got a good job. They're getting adjusted to being free. Yeah, if you want to go from Jersey, then about, whoa, chill on Jersey, chill on Jersey. We're not going to, we're not going to drag New Jersey. That's what we're not going to do. Let's not talk about <laughs> Jersey. <laughs> oh, no. My man from Trey, he's a DC a lot for a reason, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said emotional availability is important because it's getting colder outside. It is. Turn the heat on. Turn the heat on. Let, I just want I just want to bring up again yeah. how I told the man I was dating I was sad and I just wanted some comfort. And crazy. that man said, You gonna be alright, get a Snickers. A Snickers? <laughs> <laughs> you told me you were yeah. Okay, so when you use the Snickers? No! All right. Exactly. Next question. How do you? How long? I think yes. How long do you wait before inviting the person you're dating into your space? So I don't have a time frame for this. 
I into genu- one space, like where I live. Yeah, I genuinely believe that, like, that's just based on how comfortable I am right, with you. Right. Like, I, the first time I'm meeting you and the first time I'm hanging out with you, you're not coming back to my spot and yeah. I'm not going back to yours. Yeah. Like, just off of the strength yeah. of, I need to first see you in public and how you behave around other people. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, we can have some phone conversations and get to know each other so I can find out if you're actually crazy. And yeah, maybe you second. <laughs> well, me, I don't waste no time. I bring you right in. standard time frame you should be able to gauge like yeah you know when they're allowed to come over but don't be too quick to quick about it y'all people still want to fuck them like yeah why is a nigga in your house if you're not you know what i'm saying like for me that's also part of it i'm just like bro if i don't if i don't want to if i'm not trying to be like sexual with you there's no need for you no there's no need for you nah especially because for me i have a kid you feel me so there's really no like nigga you know i'm hanging out at my motherfucking house i got kids in this bitch and they got school in the morning so like i'm very (laughs) good Actually, I would be like, actually, we're going back to smoke here. Open the door. Shit. Can you open the door all the way? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the one that's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's great talking to y'all, but does anybody want to join the live? Like, actually, this is what this is about. We're not asking because we about to just request y'all. Yeah, and we can request y'all. You got to come on because. <laughs> all right. What's going on? Um. Oh, also. I agree with the girl in the background. Thanks. So. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, that's why we do that. I kind of close that a little bit. Um, Is that what happened? I forgot that uh, that thing is still going on. Oh shit! Uh, um, um, you can hear it. Yeah. Oh, I just shut the. I just closed the door. Um, I don't got no chapstick on. We don't. We don't judge you. We think y'all are baby. You. you can come with them dry lips. It's somebody here who likes dry lips, right? You know, everybody type. Who signed up for that? My nigga like my lips when they was dry. Oh, so my homegirl um, that went to Morgan with us. Y'all know Brittany? Brittany. Holder? Yes. Yeah, so Brittany had asked a really interesting question on Instagram the other day. And um, she was like, yeah, um, her homegirl was telling her about men that was trying to pursue her. And basically, um, one day just pulled up on her and was like, he had baked her a pound cake. Like baked it himself. Like went to the store, bought all the ingredients, mm-hmm. yeah. and baked her a pound That's cake. Cute. Hold on, he and up and invited. Like he, he hit her up and he hit her up and told her. He hit her up and told her, and oh, then like pulled up, okay. yeah, okay. and pulled up with a pound cake. Okay. And so like she, you know, in a group chat, she told her friends like, "Oh wow, he made me a pound cake. Like really, like a homemade pound cake, and it's good as shit." That was really different, and she was like, "Yeah." You know, she's like that really sparked me to the question. She's like, "Men, what is the most?" Just like wild nice out of movie. out of I want to stand out shit that you've done for a girl that you really really liked and she was like and for women like what's like some like wild shit that like somebody has done to show that they really really liked you and she was like and then you know she had quoted she was like in the words of Carisha like what's your pussy talk like what what you <laughs> who, who wants to share what's like pizza? who wants to share Abbas you go first yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell us I've been in a relationship so long I can't fucking Honestly, um, I did the homemade massage thing. I got that ring at the little massage table. Oh, I, I did the little. I, I cooked. I did the fucking rose petal situation. I did oh some music yeah, and shit. I like that. Yeah, I did that. That was cool. Yeah, you was trying to set up a whole fantasy there. Yeah, you know that was. Anybody want to share their story? You, you the one that want to go next. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, you know, Go ahead, Alex. <laughs> well, this was a very this was this was a very wild time in my life, which is the beginning of this year because this year has been wild. 
Um, I was at a bar when things was open earlier in the year, close to my birthday. And um, a man was there. He approached me at the bar and he you know, was very respectful. He was having a nice, long conversation. We talked for a long time. And he asked me what I like to do. So I was like, I like hiking, biking, exercising. <laughs> like, I like active. I'm, I'm an active girl. Like, I exercise. I'm into fitness. And he's like, well, it's cold now because it's winter. You know, it's January. But I'd really love to go hiking with you. So I was like, oh, well, you know, we can go hiking in the summer. He's like, just give me your first, last name, and date of birth. And I'll book us a flight to L.A. so we can hike. And in my mind, I was like, some wild ass shit. But YOLO. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Wow. Didn't think on there. Okay. (laughs) So, yeah. On to L.A. <laughs> for our first date. You, like, you alive? Oh my god! So I can tell the story. You know, we had a um, I had a part in my last podcast. I did a topic about loving women and saying men should protect women at all costs, but also tell a woman, you know, y'all might want to voice her. Yeah, yeah, that was that yeah. would probably have been exhibited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know I was dead ass wrong, but yeah. I was also like, no, it worked out. Let's get. Yeah. And then what happened? Yeah. Also, you're only gonna be young ones. <gasps> well, what happened to that? It just didn't work. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was, I was outside of my race, and I just feel like race was a big thing for me. So, yeah, I mean, uh, people saying, "What's up?" in the comments. Um, John, what's up? What about you? What's the uh, most standout thing you did when uh, you know <laughs> you was trying to get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably similar to that. I, I like the, uh, we all did that whole. I mean, because I really ain't done this with like some that crazy. So I was like fucking talking young you. Um, but yeah, same thing. Nice. D- yeah, did that whole little, you know, rose petals. I had her favorite food, rose petals at all. At all. I mean that's the go-to movie. Yeah, yeah. The I love and it's not that it's not that that's a low bar thing. Mm-hmm. It's like you don't gotta do much. You just gotta, yeah. you know. I mean, I'm just. I really saying, do appreciate the thought. I will say that. They say yeah. that all the time. And sometimes it sounds cliche. This is but no, it's, really it's, it, it really is. And not, it really is appreciating the thought because um, when she posted this, there was a whole bunch of different responses and they ranged. So, like, if I even were to begin to tell y'all what some people's pussy was talking, you literally would be like, actually, I, I may need to reevaluate some things this because. Gonna <laughs> this, is, this is one that's going to work. It never fails. Mm-hmm. This is what you do. I know I used to date a young lady. She, she was a hard worker. She always worked on her birthday. She never took off. She felt like, I'm just going to work out. She's different. I, yeah, she didn't take off for her birthday. But So I stole her car. Right? While she was at work, I, well, a few days before, I got a key made. Mm-hmm. So I stole her car from her job. I got her, her, that far, yeah, man. I definitely did. I stole her car from her job. I got it, I got it detailed. So you don't know who used to be the hood nigga. <laughs> and I was just kidding. Hold on, I'm not going to tell the story. I, you know, it was legit. But anyway, I took the car, I got a detail. It's legit as well. Uh, uh, oil change, right. <laughs> oil change, all that other shit. The tires rotated, then I put, you know, filled the car full of balloons, put some food in there, a card and some cash, and then I left it there and job. That's, that's nice. hard. Yeah, that is nice. Hard. That's smooth. I might do that. That's real smooth. We're just going to ignore this. You single, Evan? Mm-hmm. Shit goes good when it works out well, but y'all see what I mean by girls ignore the signs? That's exactly what I was talking about. That's also you, ignore, you ignored the fact that my man by himself got a key made. It was just a car key. I didn't style. ignore that. It could easily be your house key next time. I, 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 You supposed to sell her car and take her to dinner with the prophet? Oh, he's wild. He's so problematic. Hey, man, alert. Hey, man, alert. He's going to be the house key the next time. Hey, Sunday. Here we go. What's good, baby? Sunday. No, I was so listen. Like this meal was great. I should hope. So listen. Like, like, we only, we all, we only, we gotta get, we gotta get kicked off of this, of this yeah, hour yeah. in like two minutes. So I'm about yeah. to just tell y'all what some, of, some of these women and some of these men said that the, the pussy was talking. Um, one woman said, <laughs> she said that her pussy talks weekly fresh bouquet deliveries. 
Um, another woman said that her pussy talks a brand new car. My pussy needs to talk more. What the fuck? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, my pussy needs to talk more. You need to be talking to the car. Talk to the Listen, listen, but not these niggas was in the these niggas were answering too. So yeah, it was I mean, mad. One time, maybe one time. Yeah, but you know what? The fact is, is that it happened. Oh no, that's facts. Because honestly, that one time, that could be that, could, that, that, that I was just saying, exactly that could be the shit that actually made her feel like, all right, this is it. That's I'm, I'm good, good with it. For her. Exactly. Good. I just want to say, when we get kicked off, all, these other all you 28 so people better come back, please. I see y'all driving. And we had a request too. Uh, we gonna add you when we get back, boo. We got a beautiful we woman. Have any extra questions? Um, no? The question should actually come back, I think. Yeah. Oh, and we out. Ooh, that was a good hour, guys. That was. All right, let's open the. Um, yeah, one more is okay for me because niggas not even trying to get on like that. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas not even really trying to get on like that. So. That's what I'm saying. Everybody interacting for sure. Yeah, but nobody's getting on. So it's a good thing that we got like a whole crew in here though. Back. <laughs> to to entertain like, them. Yeah. Women also shouldn't get their pussy being good confused with like they just fucking with a nigga that like really got it. Yeah. That's true. Don't, that too. Don't like, yeah, yeah, too. I, 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 I know niggas that man. I, 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 know very, I, I don't know. I'm very on. The, I'm, you I don't know how I feel about this whole like women bragging on how good their pussy is because I feel like. I mean, it might not be, but just like, yeah, like you, you can know, have like, a pussy with a fuck nigga and not. So I don't, shit. I don't, I don't, I didn't look at the, I didn't look at no the no crap against like. First of all, the sometimes pussy. you don't even give up the pussy. Like, what's like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. What, nobody was like, oh, my pussy deserves don't this every single that. time, but don't watch oh yeah. Uncle Clifford said, close legs still get fat. That's fact. Yeah, that's a fact. No, 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 that's a fact. Some some women are not even fucking to get this. Yeah, and that, nah, people were writing that too. People were like, yo, a nigga didn't even smell it and literally bought me this shit. Yeah, like. And there was plenty of girls in there. Like, 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 like John said, people. like sometimes niggas have that, like, like that's how they operate. You yeah. Know what I'm like that's just how so it might it might it might have been a different woman, and they would have still yeah, done it's the like same thing. Take you to a they might take you to Ruth Chris or whatever. But if he you know, if he eat there every day, and a girl be like, you know, he took me to Ruth Chris. 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 Chris, and then that girl would say like, that's all he did, like blah blah the whole time. Homie like, when you don't got like that, that was really a big day for him. You talk about so you get you got a car, well, yeah, yeah. The nigga with the badge of car might not, the, his effort might not been even enough. Like, Rupert Chris nigga might have to do more to pull yeah, that yeah. off than the nigga give you a car. You got it, yeah. you got it. And it's not, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, I know a nigga personally, Teresa's only probably, I've seen, like, if, if he wind it down, if you meet a girl and he like her at all, he won't want to take out first date, yo, for it's nothing to him. Let me, let me, let me, let me see what else Brittany was saying. Well, here's the thing for women, though, that I always tell them, like, you can't, I said that to you, right? There's some basic bitches who have to be real impressed mm-hmm. by like things like that. Things like that. <clears throat> because if you can well, be impressed like shit like that, a nigga can buy you. If a nigga yeah, can buy you, then you thing. that's not good. You feel me? Like nigga, I can take myself to Ruth Chris for lunch if I really want to go. Back. And I'm not saying I don't appreciate that. Yeah. Like, if that's what happens, but also let's be very clear. Um, if I wanted that, I can do it for myself. Or if I couldn't do it for myself for a long time, my family could so, be with that nigga and then another yeah. nigga offers you the same thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just. Well, because then you're always going to be trading up. You're always going to be <laughs> yeah. trading up. Yeah. The nigga with the better car. Like, yeah. oh, I'm with this nigga and he has the. Yeah. He has a Mercedes, but this nigga got a fuck, got the brand new fucking Lamborghini. Lamborghini. He got a, he got it's a, always a better nigga yeah, whenever. You Audi, bitch. I'm about to go over there. Like this nigga, it's like. Yeah, that's problematic. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't got no Wi-Fi connected because I didn't want to disturb it out. Alright, well let's get it. There's something he said about staying down and coming up. Yeah, tell Matt we do need to get back to him because. Matt was um Matt was preparing for the wedding, so now that the wedding's passed. And he's trying to go on me because I went to Miami. Mm-hmm. He went on me for going to Tulum and I didn't even go. Alex <laughs> was posted from Tulum. I told that story. I was from a point. I gotta stop believing everything you see on the internet. Niggas swear they know you on the internet. No, she was on Tulum before too. Tulum before the app. Tulum before the app. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, this is going to be our last hour because y'all not trying to join us. Like, we can talk. We all have podcasts here. But if y'all not going to join, what are we doing this for? Mm-hmm. So it's going to be our last hour. So if you want to join. Yeah, man, we have like 32. Yeah. It's late here. But y'all got to join us. We're not about to just keep talking at y'all. But we gonna let the room fill up. 
Oh yes, my girl. Also, about the pussy pop thing though, I think I think the reason women be gas soft shit though is because I think in the DMV women be gas soft materialistic shit because I think that this is a materialistic gas disgustingly gas. materialistic yeah. Yeah. But I also think part of it like is the romance thing, right? Because I definitely will say like I've had men do really nice things for me before, but like the stuff that like sticks out in my mind is like romantic shit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel like I've had niggas do romantic shit. Like, what can I go home with? <laughs> you know, I was like, I got a TV really big and, and that's another thing. I don't like it. It's like material. It's like you like me prove it. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like dated very wealthy men and they felt like they could buy me or buy my love and it's, it's a complete different mind you I, I do like receiving gifts I do like you know being treated and all that but like if you feel like your money is gonna is gonna be what wins me over you're bugging out like yeah but it's also a shortcut like romance like I, like maybe i'm just a hopeless romantic but i just feel like yeah. romance is so fun like, romance is I, like, very fun like, even as a woman who like dates men and even like likes women like i love like one of the things i love about fucking with other bitches you like women girl <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know this yeah, one, no but one mean? thing i like but one thing i like is like sometimes like i like being a friend of, like <laughs> No, because men are not romantic enough. Yeah. You feel me? Where it's like, yeah. well, yeah. you fuck with a shorty, like, oh, you might get, you be like, it should be like a fucking fairy tale. Yeah. Like, what, is, what is romance? I think romance is, question. um. Oh, you can now do the, how do you define romance? I think I define romance as very thoughtful gestures. Very so subjective. Does it, does it very does sensuality go no, with romance? I mean, I hey, Roy. Really essential, but I also just think very, like, thoughtful gestures. Yeah. Right? Like, I think like Hi, anybody dude. can buy somebody. Like if I have money to buy a million Gucci bags and I buy all y'all Gucci in this room, that's not thoughtful. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. yeah. Whereas if I pay attention, I would. Like, I would think it's thoughtful she, if you did it for me. If you I just yeah, well, yeah. This is like she was like, so romantic. <laughs> 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 but, like, I don't know that about Teresa, and that would be a thing, right? But I think to me, romantic is like when you pay attention to like the little shit about somebody. Yeah. Like I made not. I made your favorite meal. Like and. I didn't just make it and like nigga come downstairs and eat like I made it and love it. Love it. Oh, I'm glad you love, you love it. Like, like little shit, and I just think niggas. We're in the studio car and. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yo. You said old girl in the back of our line. The key that you paid for the key. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? I paid for the key. So I definitely. So what did you get it back to? You said. Um, so yeah, look, y'all, y'all see these little um, good masks? If y'all want to try out this filter, we do have a um, a good Nanny Nation filter. Hey, but um, if you don't want to try out the filter and if you actually need a mask, you can also now order a mask. Over the background line, because we we got these two. So make sure that y'all check out the website inside of itsnation.com. Like, and make sure y'all are romantic. Oh, yeah, emotionally right. disconnected ass motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, nah, I'm um, but we're about to um, we're add, about to some, add some people now that y'all are actually back. Welcome back. Okay. Thoughtful ideas are romantic. <laughs> Thoughtful. Romantic is like, yeah. I feel like it is sensual. It's Bundy scary. need a mask. Q need a mask. It's like, oh. You said what? I didn't even know it was connected until it just said it. Oh. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Oh, how are you, Kaya? I'm good. Let me put my headphones on so I can hear y'all. I literally just walked in the door. Oh, my God. Where were you? Where were you at? My, um, I... Jinx had vaccinations today. Yeah, he had allergic reaction. Girl, oh, freak no. out. Oh, no. Oh, no. They thought you said, my nigga, um. <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my puppy. My, my baby. Um, <laughs> right, cool. <laughs> he said, you're lying. Yeah, this one's still alive. Dad, with dogs, I'm going to put my inner pocket cozy. I don't know what I missed. All right. So, we, um, we had a couple topics going before. What's your pussy talk? You know, what are some things that um, men have done to stand out 
to get to you. And uh, the prompt was that, so this girl put inside her group chat with her homegirls that a man that was interested in her had basically hit her up and pulled up on her and he baked her a pound cake. And she was like, you know, he actually went to the store, he got the ingredients and baked her a pound cake. You know I'm a baker, so you know I'm a so you know there was I think I would love if a nigga put like just try just like oh you know this yeah, is it's, it's different I'm about to it's a little dry I would add a little of it you know um, what is the extra mile a man has gone oh, I, I had a man buy me an iPhone once Mm-hmm. Yeah. Extra mile a man has gone for me. Seven hundred dollar investment. Yeah, like, but it was an older, older man. And I told him I was not interested, and he was like, "That's fine. I just want you to have a new phone. phone." And she kept the phone. My, and my phone was so cracked. My, 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 I was getting, I was getting splinters in my phone playing Temple Run. Like this man literally was just like, He was like, he was like, "Let me get you a, let me get you a phone. No strings attached. Like I am interested, but you're not like." You ever see my name pop up? But the thing is, was, it, it did it. It did it. We, we both about went. The they always attack. <laughs> One thing about them. Okay, let Kaya like tell her story. Go ahead, Kaya. Um, but she's lying. The most, and this, this is crazy because men, and no offense to men, because I know they're going to feel the way, but. Yeah, we are. <laughs> you know, I really do romantic shit these days, so it's sad that what am I going to say? Hello. Hello. They can't even see who you are because you said men are not romantic these days. And I realize there's two different kinds of vacation. Like people who like they they still dating a person that's not nothing serious, and they just meet up, link up in a different country or whatever. And there's people who are like, no, this is my boyfriend or girlfriend. You can be in a vacation ship. I do vacation ships. What? Yeah, where it's like where it's like you buy your ticket, I buy my ticket, and then we split the hotel. Pack your bags, go to order vacation. If, you, if you're not, if you're not my man, honestly, if you're not my man, I really just don't trust it. I don't want you having like, no. Well, also because men be like sometimes entitled. Men, I don't want to put myself in a position to to get yeah. to feel like I owe him some shit. Exactly, and you become real entitled. Exactly. Now imagine I'm out the country and you try some wild shit and I don't even speak the language and yeah. now I'm in a whole entire international debacle. Yeah. Like, no, get the fuck out of here. Like, that's not that's not me. If you're my man, well, I'm definitely not putting myself in a situation that if I'm not already attracted to you and I'm, I'm not already to flip upside down for you, I'm not going to Mexico to tell you no. Like, why would I leave the U.S. to tell you no? You could leave my body dead in Mexico. Nobody gonna look for you. That's yeah. that. Also, if I'm going out the country, I probably wanted to fuck him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was already on like some. So I'm you're, gonna. You're saying that you would not go if you. Wanted. If it just if I wasn't interested, I'm not going. Yeah, I wouldn't go. No, no, no. Because if I don't want to buy this plane, don't give me the pussy. Honestly, if I invite you, please don't accept. If yeah, you're not I'm not gonna accept. That's what I'm saying. Like, please don't accept. Because now you feel entitled when I say no. You do some shit to me in another country. And I don't come back and you do, that's going to be a problem. I have to already be interested in you to, to agree to go on a two-person trip with you. Or God forbid, now you have to go and find your own hotel room because now you just sleep with the lighter. Yeah, like, yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. Unless, unless, we, both, unless we both on the same energy of, like, we going to be on a balcony day and night, and we not going nowhere out the country, just me and you. Yeah, like, if you're domestic, a domestic trip, you cannot give up the booty. If you go international, huh? sis, don't you go said domestic, you can't. Yeah. You can't give up the booty That's domestically? Good. John says you can't give up the booty domestically. <laughs> That's a rule. I'm not saying you can't give up the booty domestically. You're like, that's a What I'm saying is that if this is a situation where it's like you're not ready to have sex with him yet, if it's domestic, I feel like you could take your you could take that chance. But no. I'm still be 100 with him before we go. Like, sir, 
Nah, I don't think we're ready to be physical with you yet. Yeah, I'm I'm not not like, physically in the same room. Honestly, I feel, same like, I, feel like, I feel like that conversation is going to happen before you even like buy the tickets. Because like honestly, like, and I guess this is it all men or everybody doesn't handle it this way. But most men who I've talked to, like before they even like invite you to their apartment, they're like, yo, I just want to let you know, like, if you're not comfortable. I'm trying to smash. Yeah. Nah, like, that's kind of, that's okay, kind of caveman. Why are we in a, why are we <laughs> participating in things if we're not ready for, like, if we're not ready to be physical with people, then why are we doing things like inviting them to our homes and going on Yeah. Like, that, like, those are things that stay intimate. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 I just don't understand the concept of participating in doing things that we're not ready for. That we're not ready for, yeah. With people that we're not, like, Because that's also how you get into these great areas and slippery soaps where you're in a situation where it's just not pretty. We over-sexualize things so freaking much. Like, why can't you be at my house and us not have sex? No, like, that's not the place. You can. So it's a matter of not you. wanting that. Yeah, and I was going to say, but if I don't want you, I'm not going to lead you on and just have you, yeah. like, just and sit here like, kicking. If there's no chance of you having sex with Slim, you should be Wait, what'd you say, Kaya? You can't go over somebody's house if you're not smashing. I mean, no, no, no. honestly, if the, if, the, if, if I know that that's what their intentions are, it's not even that they're not smashing. If I know that that's what their intentions are, it's 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 just one of the things you have to communicate clearly. Well, because yeah, I, agree. I mean, I definitely agree with you. You can tell if a guy is, but I, I guess it's like if yeah. we're having a good time and you like we we go out, we both get a little tipsy. My house is a little closer to so whatever, and it's like okay, we're not ready for the night to end or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't want you, you know, for safety purposes, you're telling me as safety, two right? adults, we can't be in the same space no, without us having sex you and can. it yeah. not be yeah, a situation. You can. A, you can. You said it's not like, horrible. What about Suitlin? <laughs> not Suitlin! about why are you, do- like, look, yeah, people like, with self-control it? don't put themselves in situations that situation. require an yeah. utmost yeah. amount of self-control. So it's just like, why am I putting myself in, in that situation, situation where I have to yeah. self control? Yeah. Well, you can just go to your house and I can just go to my house. Exactly. And, and then not only that, but like, I don't want to put somebody in that Talking situation. We've been, we've been drinking. We've been drinking. We've probably been smoking. Like, you better take a damn Uber. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to have sex with a person, you're not that attracted to that person. I feel like we should go anyway. You know how niggas say that? Can we ask Kyle? You the bar, you getting fried. Nigga be like, hey, by the way, let's ask Let's go to your house. Kyle, we'll ask you some. Some more questions, some real questions. Okay. Some what? Some real questions. Girl, why did I come up here with oh, that was a real question. Oh, that was a good question, actually. Girl, you cute. What's the question? Tiana says she's speaking back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a prompt. Um, let's say you're dating this guy for a, a bit of time and things are going really well when all of a sudden his ex sends you a DM saying that she okay. really needs to have a talk with you about him. Mm-hmm. What do you do? Smoking. This is actually happening. <laughs> like, like, what was it? It's happened to you? Like yes, These women like swear coming woman to woman is a thing. <laughs> and it's not, sweetie. <laughs> no woman to woman be. <laughs> Woman to man, that nigga right there. Right. <laughs> I'm not your beef. <laughs> I'll forward the message. <laughs> text you back. What the fuck that for? I mean, I would, I would talk to her. I mean, you, you would. I, I would make sure she knows, like, hey, you know, as, it, you know, I would let her know as long as this can be a respectful conversation. Yes, you and I can have a conversation, and I would talk to her. And see what she has to say. I don't think that there is. I'm not dating her. I'm not talking to her. <laughs> I'm like, I want you to say something. After the fact, after the fact, I would tell him, like, hey, I talked to her. But I feel like there's nothing wrong with us having a conversation because at the end of the day, I'm going to want to know what she wants to tell me because there yeah. has to be a reason why. We talk about I don't think, I don't think my curiosity yeah. ever gets me to that point. What if that but, nigga beat the shit out of her every day and she's trying to, she's trying to warn you? Yeah. Exactly. 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 Listen, if, if it was on the other foot, or he I don't know. Probably, probably. And listen, if, if that's if that's the case, in all honesty, and she feels like, oh yeah, I need to warn this person, <laughs> I feel like also you 
you fail to Perfect. realize that like people are are capable of rehabilitation <laughs> and that you no. can't now decide three that three you have to yeah no I did it no I did it like people 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 are are capable of rehabilitation and whoever they were to, whoever they were to you they may be different Okay. If you're beating, you always beating. Somebody said, "I still want to know that it's happy." Just because you're capable of rehabilitation, I still want to know that. I would, I would want to know as well, but I feel as though your ex doesn't necessarily have to be the person that could communicate that. Like, like, I feel like your friends, your your exactly. family she members. Leave him alone so she can get back with it. Exactly. Like you all have to listen. Like, like be her ex again. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. for her. Yeah. 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 Honestly, for her, I have a best friend. I have a best friend. So my sad. best friend. Every time he's happy and he's in a relationship. She will pop up and she will find some sort of way to ruin that relationship. They will never get back together. They will not ha- happily ever after nothing. So but her presence, mean? period, will always make the other woman feel like, yeah. yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, why is this person around? Oh, wait, oh, yeah, and she yeah. knows that. And she, and she, she, she knows, probably yeah. loved that shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that nigga let her do that dumb shit. She probably loved that shit. I think you will be a so you would never call you would never call an, like that. You would never call an ex's current person, but you would listen to one of them. Yeah. You would listen to it. Yeah. Okay. All right, your question. Obviously, if you are, if you're reaching out to me, I think about things from my perspective. If I have a, a reason to reach out to somebody, this has to be a damn good reason for me to be like, oh, I need to reach out. To I don't. I feel like I feel like some people are, are are chaotic and crazy enough where they don't need a good reason other than they're bored. So I will right. I will forward this message along to this man, and he can put up his explanation as to why she's reaching out well, and what she does. Exactly. <laughs> no, seriously. And honestly, for real, for real, I'm, you know. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to hear him out. And honestly, he has a relationship with her where he can even find out like what is it that you needed to discuss. Yeah, because he has a relationship with her. He's a lying ass nigga. You know, I'm, I, I agree. You wouldn't. You like, wouldn't. You don't know I that mean, until you allow that person to know, lie to I'm, you. But I, I agree. But I, you know, I, I would want to hear what the girl had to say, just off the strength of like what I believe in. I believe in asking questions when I already have some of the answers. Would you? Would so you reach out? Would you reach out to when I already done talk to the bitch? Would you? Oh, but hold on. Hold on. But, 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 but Simone. But Simone. Would you? Would you reach out to an ex's current? No. Okay, so listen. Would you reach out to an ex's current? So listen, there are there are five there are five women that are here. And all five of y'all asses said I would not do that. So everybody who who thinks on like a no, I'm, I'm well. I'm kind of counting on Kaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna count to my house tonight. He said, "Who you calling a woman in here?" Right? It's three niggas. I don't even say anything. Okay, so it's four women. Okay, and out of all of y'all, all of y'all are staying enough where y'all are like, no, that bitch can find out on her own. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's funny. It's funny right? you say it like that. No, it's no, that's your G G. He's your problem now. Yeah, I'm not about to. Go to you and be like that nigga's a liar, that nigga's a cheater. Like, no, I don't need to tell you that. But what is my what? What am I gaining from that? Like, what? Like, who is she to me to be like, yo, shorty? I'm gonna just why does she watch out? Yeah, why does she like, care so? Why does she feel so invested that she's like, I need to save her? You know, like, what if I'm not in danger? What she tell you? She just know that nigga is happy. Or what if I like danger? I have something to say. I think for me. Yeah. Teresa was Christian Bale. Like, I feel like what you're saying is to me the equivalent of the maybe Facebook stalker person we just meet or Instagram stalker person we just meet. Yeah, that's to me that's the equivalent. Man. You go down, you want to find out things that he may have left on his own, and at this point you you're able to at least get it from a perspective that you know is has experience with that person. I don't know if that's a reliable you know, source though. You choose, yeah. but you, I'm not saying you have to listen to 100% of what they're saying. But take like, it with a grain of salt. 100% of you when you Instagram like stalk a person. Bitch. However, you'll listen to the foundation of the She fucking came. I understand. Some white like people should do their due diligence of uh, research on a person before they date them anyways. This you know? why I'm here. <laughs> because a nigga's not going to tell you, yeah, I used to beat bitches in my past, but we good now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't do that anymore. Yeah. 
Like no, but you you can you can find that out from everybody <laughs> other than their actual <laughs> their actual person. Like there's there's way there's other ways to find that out. The person who I who I mentioned recently, I didn't even say their name before the person another person in the room was like, oh yeah, that nigga be hitting bitches. Yeah. Like there's no way you can get that off, you know. Back in the day, I hit a few. Yeah, yeah. Yo, class. I'm gonna lighten up the mood here, and I'm oh, gonna ask you to finish this Ooh. lyric. Are you Ooh. ready? Oh my god! You know I'm really bad at this. I'm, I'm going back into uh, Y2K with this because I was just in millennial tour mode. Okay. Bump, bump, bump. I don't know it. <laughs> mm, you might know this. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just cop the Bentley, and it's parked in my garage. Two o'clock appointment for my massage. I know that side. Right? You said it completely <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, that's the point. That's the point. You gotta say, but I don't even know what that is. Just cop the Bentley and it's parked outside. No, no, no. I'll read again. <laughs> Just cop the Bentley and it's parked in my garage. A two o'clock appointment for my massage. It's gotta be like Monica. Girl, I do not know that. Is that what it is? Oh, that shit is. you want me to sing it? Yes. Does anybody want to help in the comments? Does anybody know? Like, is Missy this Monica? is hard. This is yeah, kind of hard. I would be having a hard ass lyric. I know. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna sing it. Just just cop the Billy and it's parked in my garage. Mm-hmm. Two o'clock appointment. Oh, she's just my, like girlfriend, But the point, I can't sing it because you're No, but you said B, you did you gave it away. She didn't know. She said she said bump bump bump, but it wasn't it is BK. And, oh, and everywhere we go, they know just who we are. Definitely. There they go. It's a ghetto superstar. I'm about to say girlfriend from the I'm gonna give you an easier one. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. Pretty little thing you got a bag and now you wildin'. You just took it off the lot, no mileage. <laughs> I know that everybody knows that. It's the it's new too. I know. Hold on. Say it again. Pretty little thing, you Drink got it. a bag and now no, you're no wildin'. No you just took it off the lot, no <laughs> mileage. <laughs> Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you're wildin'. You just took it off the lot, no so mileage. Don't listen to lyrics. I need to call bumping your head. Whatever. Keep going, sis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that shit either. I don't know that either. <laughs> I mean, so what? That's it's all like fuck Just girls. I hate women. Y'all be like, yeah, it's that shit. <laughs> Y'all even listen to nothing. Okay, I don't listen to a lot of radio stuff. Uh, okay. Clearly. I'm gonna throw it back then. Oh, you got one. Yeah. Let me throw it back. Let me throw yeah. it back. Yeah. Throw it back. Damn, this is the worst. This is the most thought of it. Nah, honestly, the lyrics speak it in people. The lyrics speak it. All right. Oh. If I had one wish. Oh, oh, stop. Uh, no. You literally stop. said the song. Stop. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> Like, you know, you gotta, actually, she don't gotta guess the song, she gotta guess the lyrics. Alex said it and then laughed. So that's how you really do, like, all right. <laughs> I can say the morning is like, ah! Okay. If I have a wish, we will be best friends. Love would never end, it would just begin. Ooh, I just said Ray J song. Yeah, wish, if I had one wish, we would be best friends. Love would never end, it would just begin. If I she had one wish, I'd make Nah, it's too late. <laughs> yeah, right. nah, nah, it's too late. Good job. You got it, boo. <laughs> okay, what is the worst thing someone can do on a first date with you? Walk a hoe. Show up with another nigga, man. Show up with another nigga. My friend, baby. This shit that happens to me. Like, be on their phone. Uh, like, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, part of the team. Like, <laughs> just not be paying attention or not be in the 
done that before? Did people do that? I gotta go to the bathroom and then don't come back. I've done it before. But I did it. I did it because honestly, the person kept inviting like his homeboys. What? Uh, like, yeah. and it, it felt like, like me, it, felt, no, it, felt like, it felt like it felt like he was almost trying to like show off his homeboys that like he was out with a with a beautiful woman, uh, and like it was really yeah, awkward. Yeah, and I and like then like and then at one point it was like oh he was entertaining his homeboys and I was like yeah you know what yeah <laughs> like what kind of date is that? What if you didn't notice though? There we go. Wait, wait, wait. There is a. 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 Ooh. When you're mad, you hear that? You hear that, fellas? Piss her off. Protect yourself. Make her mad. Hit her up. We're about to the 15th. Hit her up on the 15th. All right, so this is this is my last question, and it's um a this or that, but you have to answer. I'm with the shits or I'm good love. Okay. Blind dates. Blind? Hmm. Blind, you said blind date? Blind date. Like the, the date, can't see? <laughs> <laughs> you got a mason before. I'm kind of with the shit. It depends on which of my friends is picking it up. Because some of my friends know me and some of my friends fuck them. Mm. So, okay. Sex I, with the next. Sex with the sheets. Oh. I'm with the sheets. Sex with the next. Yes, with the sheets. Definitely with the sheets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Relationship breaks. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, if we br- if we, we on a break, we broke up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just said it. So like, if somebody else on a break up, you all still doing you all still, anyway. Go ahead. Yeah, but it's like that. That means that means I cut it, I cut it off. <laughs> Um, yeah, if it's a break, we broke up. Like, yeah. You know, eight hour shift, not taking no break. Right. <laughs> um, talking filthy. What the shit? <laughs> DM, DM slides from strangers. Oh, what the shit? Definitely. Yeah, I love fine. it. You yeah, strangers break. become boyfriend. If, if you say something clever. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you about to get a DM slide, girl. <laughs> Unsolicited news. Like bars? <laughs> like bars? No, no. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. That's unsolicited bars. news be kind of like you. You said nudes or memes? Nudes. Uh, unsolicited no. news. <laughs> she was a funny ass nigga. <laughs> she said she got so tired. It's because of that. Like, I hate when I just you open your phone and just dick on the phone. Yeah. Dick on the phone. 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 Dick on I'm like, why is um, all right. picture just a dick? Why can't it be <laughs> just a dick? Why, like, why, why is there any art? Why is there any art to it? I'm just saying, girl nudes do mad art to show. Hell yeah. I don't know, 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 know what I am. I am fucking nudes in yeah. my phone. Yeah, nah, my, my friends <laughs> definitely send like the nudes to the group yeah. text. I'd be looking at my friends, my girlfriend's nudes, and I'd be like, yo, art should be so creative and niggas just send you dick. It'd be like, it don't even be shit. I had a mirror. I had a I had some flowers. It don't even be shit. First of all, first of all, that's shady for no reason. Y'all have breasts, y'all have breasts, y'all have hips, y'all have waist, y'all have butts, y'all, yeah, y'all can do, y'all y'all can do a different thing. A nigga just says, d- d- hey, some things y'all fucking don't even work out. So what the fuck you want to do? Like, niggas want like Peter Griffin trying to be sexy. Like, that's not even work, bro. Like, what do y'all want, bro? No, Peter Griffin, y'all want. I want Peter Griffin. She drinking wine without this. That's beautiful. Hey, niggas is awesome. Don't even go in front of the camera like. If a nigga's gonna take a dude, then you know what I'm saying, make it artistic. Huh? At least Shay, because these niggas shouldn't. Like, niggas right. will send you some dick pics <laughs> with niggas <laughs> on his hair. Yeah, like you niggas, you niggas, like, like mow them on, and you just showing like, 
some Honestly, dick. yes. Send a video of you It's like digging a bush, like. It's like a stick in a bush, like. It's literally digging a bush. That actually, I just had that happen to me like a couple weeks ago. I met a guy at a bar. Mm-hmm. The next day, he FaceTimed me. I'm at brunch with my homegirl. <laughs> the next time he FaceTimed me, we're just talking like the first 30 seconds. Next thing you know, he tilts the phone down. He's jacking off. Like, I'm just like, but. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> nigga, I'm outside. Came out <laughs> yeah, that's complicated. Yeah. 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 Why are they just bringing it? Let me see you with my homegirl. That is. It is very ballsy. It was very pretty, though. Was pretty. <laughs> All right, so I'm with the shit from Good Love on posting Bay on the Gram. Posting Bay on the Gram. I can't hear you. My phone. I'm dead last. Um, posting posting Bay on the Gram. Just Bay, or are we married? Bang. 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 Exactly. Bang. I'm gonna post you when we married. If we not engaged, no. Ah, dang. Yeah. How you definitely be posting the Wizard Kelly? A brief picture in the story. <laughs> nah, you be posting with Wizard Kelly. Brief picture in the story, but. I don't like people in my business, so. No. Yeah. Okay. Running red lights. With the shit. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, you know what we mean by running red lights? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. Everybody knows what running red lights. I didn't know for a minute. I literally red. heard that as what it running the red light. Yeah. Until a second. Ago. Y'all know what y'all know what that means, yeah, right? So yeah. He said, no, we're not talking about traffic. We talking about he said, you're not fucking on flow when on flows in town. I could wait, bro. It's never that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I don't even think that's safe. Living together before marriage. Uh, yeah, I'm with the shakes. Depending, depending, yeah. Going Dutch on the first date. Uh, if it's a date, no. If it's a, oh, let's meet out and have drinks, sure. If it's if you're calling a date, no. <laughs> How do y'all know she like? Okay. Friendly roast session. I'm never calling a date. I'm here for it. <laughs> no, I always call it a date. I'm never calling a date. Honestly, if you've so, ever no, ever called a bit, we were not dating. Oh, like I, I, I actually I find that to be very immature. I find that to be extremely like a lot of times men will try not to define something simply because they have that fear of that's like just, that's not even my reason. I just don't call it a day. Like, oh. But like the thing is is that actually if you are interested in me and you are interested in actually pursuing me and dating me, you need to ask me to leave my house. You can't just be like, yo, what you doing tonight? Like, yeah, ask me, like, hey, do you want to go here? Are you free at this time? Yeah, then you're asking me on a date. But does he have to use the other one of others, y'all? Honestly, if you're if you're, if you're trying to be vague about it for like no reason, like I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to clarify. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to clarify because if, if you're doing like a date, yeah, if you're just asking me to come out as friends, I might still come. But now I know not to fuck you. Oh, ooh, you call that a red flag? But you like, basically, I'm just keeping track. You like your phone being took me. Like not like that ass like no you put yourself in the friend zone you said you don't if you if, if I if I'm unclear about what it is and I ask you like oh, okay cool is this a date or something like do I dress up nice like or do I am I dressing like your home girl like what's up and in that moment like, he snatches the phone you cool honestly that only works one time honestly who snatched your whose phone her nigga that she likes <laughs> you didn't keep it cold oh you missed that okay um. <laughs> Risa likes her niggas to take her phone and she likes to feel in danger. I know I said like I like danger. No, I didn't say I like to feel in danger. Right. Alright. Now she's coming and rubbing his hands and she's like, you like danger, eh? I got more. I got plenty of that over here. Um, but yeah, no, I I definitely, I definitely feel like it. Date, a date isn't isn't something you go, you go that short, but yeah, all right. Um, friendly roast sessions. You said you with the shits. What about play fighting? Definitely. Nah, until you get choked. <laughs> so y'all be going too far, and I don't like the way she said definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels when you playing the back. You get slapped by her real quick, and then you like, yeah, that's. Hey, as long as you get, as long as I'm heavy handed, so as long as you. I'm looking at you. I ain't told her her glasses. 
being hard as shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid re- re- reflexes work though. Every time you hit hitting black, I don't think you're in a real fight. And that's that's why I look. So I'm not with the shit to so play fighting because if you accidentally hit me too hard, I'm I'm gonna have to call my brother. Okay, I don't, be in that I don't play fight no more. I don't play fight no more. I was play fighting with a nigga, and then he hit me and choked me, and I was like, okay, stop. Nah, and he was laughing, nigga, <laughs> <and> he was <laughs> funny. And I'm like, no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, and like, he didn't let go. And then he didn't listen. Y'all hear the story? She was with a psychopath. Yo, <laughs> I told her stop. Listen, I don't play fighting. That nigga trying to take her life with a smile. I don't do that fight shit no more. Niggas be too fucking strong. Hey, yo. He was waiting on that. I don't see how that's fun. It's not fun for me no more. What about second toes? Ew. Yo. Me? No. I thought she froze. What about chivalry? What? Chivalry. Oh, definitely with the shits. Please be chivalry. What is the female version of that? There is not. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I think that I think it's definitely is. What? I'm like, sure. there's a certain level of etiquette that a woman has to. Have. Baby, did you eat today? <laughs> How was your day? Let me rub your back. Let me give you a massage. Yeah. Like, um, like cutting his hair. Agree. In his scalp, retwisting no, no. his dreads, lining up his neck. Um, that's true. That's true. Female sugar is the first person to kill you. No, but the thing is, is that I don't think it. I don't think that y'all realize it. Also, because yeah, women are more likely to just cater yeah. to you. We just naturally are nurturing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just like you said. When we said we hate when niggas be like, "Do you cook?" Like, first of all, if I like a nigga, you don't have to ask that. Yeah, it's like just that. It's so something that we're naturally. Yeah. Like, did you? Eat I was cooking with a shorty for two months. And she hasn't cooked one thing. I would be alarmed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not even alarmed. Like, That's not the right word, but I would notice. Oh, she yeah, cook. You know? right. I'm gonna ask you, what's your favorite food? Food? If I'm dealing with you, like, oh, okay, we can make that. We're worried about y'all. Honestly, you you have to be very intentional to cook for one certain. Who made food and ate her own food and said, Oh, you did you want to get Uber Eats? Oh, <laughs> she don't like you, bro. Yeah. Honestly, and she ate her food in front of him. Message received, shot. Thank you. Message received. What what about choking back? Choking him back? Yep. Look, I don't gotta chew, though. That's the that. thing, that's dang- I'm heavy handed. That's dangerous as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She said she like ratchet. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Be coming, it's over. <laughs> it's over. He's gonna lose his life. <laughs> if y'all both choking and none of y'all let up, like it's a fucking game, both of y'all niggas gonna pass out. You don't need to be around. Right. Nobody was choking, bro. Your man was smiling to you. Right. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. BDSM. Is that a rock band? Christian Gray. Fifty Shades of Gray. Oh, am I like with the ch- whips and chains and mm-hmm. handcuffs? With the shades? All right, yeah. Girl, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> crazy. What about tricking on your boo? Don't judge me. Don't no, ain't no judgments. <laughs> Y'all keep trying to see Kai's face. <laughs> we gonna have a good time in Tulum. You said tricking? Yeah, tricking on your boo. She the sugar mama type. You know what I mean? I make, I make good money. I'm sure my, my wherever we make good money. I like nice things. We're gonna experience it together, definitely. Ooh, baby. That's that's it. That's all I got. Well, Kaya, is your DMs open? Where you at? Because the men is looking at you like, baby girl. What's well, my DMs are always open. Well, not always when I'm, you know, dating somebody, but my DMs are open. You said the girls are checking her out too. Are your DMs open for women and men or just men? <laughs> <laughs> you want all the shit? Yeah, <laughs> okay, so thanks for joining us. Bill. What's her IG though? Her IG. Can you tell your IG? I'm asking for. Oh yeah, drop 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 inside of the comments and hang out with us. And they want to tell them your IG because they can't. The guys here want to know your IG. They going to sign the DMs. My IG is. She don't even know her IG. It's I dot M dot. K-E-E-C-H. I dot M dot K-E-E-C-H. 
Also, yeah, yeah, Kaya's on yeah, episode yeah. four. She's on episode four, yeah. This I is my very good friend. I saw that episode. You're going to see our pictures in Tulum real soon. <laughs> <laughs> For real this time. Yeah. Also, Kaya, tell them where you located. Um, right now, I'm in Atlanta. By way of DC, but I'm in Atlanta um, temporarily on work. Uh, yeah. work appointment, so. All right, I'm coming back to DC. East Coast soon. You got to tell about the bio. All right, I love you guys. I love you, I love you too. Bye. Uh, I love her. That's my baby. Let's bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Oh, it's um. Oh, um. A portable charger? Is that on the back of the um computer? No. Wait, so looking for a um. Like a iPhone charger? It's a portable. Do some black. Do some like a black box. Okay, are y'all gonna request so we can get you? Oh yeah, there are requests. Shiny black box. Oh, Alex, not going to make some. No, I am this time. I got y'all niggas. Wait, wait, wait. We got a question. We definitely have a question. Okay. Um, what what non-sexual activities are you interested in during the talking um, dating stages? Um, I love cuddling. I do like cuddling. I don't know if that's considered a non-sexual because it is still a physical activity. Well, kind of cuddling is a thing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I like... I like um, I like a little bit of aggression. Like, yeah, I'm worried about y'all men. You know? That's um, is that bad? Is that no? Is, is isn't that is that sexual? Yes, that's like, sexual. Why aggression without sex like is that? abuse? Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <I'm laughs> it's abuse. Like, yeah. I mean, no, assertive, not not. Hey, don't say I don't like cavemen. Yo, maybe like him. Yeah, maybe this is like. I, okay, know. Um, so, I think I used the wrong word. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's what you meant. I think I meant assertive. Yeah, I, I don't think that's what you meant. During dating, can you yeah. dry help me, please? So what? What types of what types of non sexual activities are you? She said I like aggression. No sex though. <laughs> so like, honestly, for real, for real. Oh, give me a foot rub. I like that. I like foot rub. I've had, I've had like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Orgasm. I like talking. I've had a few niggas who do that before they got it. And that was in my mind. I was like, oh, nigga, yeah, you supposed you to. Get it. Yeah, rub your feet. I, um, I like that shit. I love I love also doing like physical activities. So like, oh yeah, we can go like bike riding. If we can go like wrestling, oh. no, nah, like you know, like We're walking, bumper cars, like yeah. 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 Wait, all any types of like fun shit that you're just like, hey, let's go do, let's go. Oh, I got a good one. Okay, I got a good one. Sorry, I, you know, I, I, I want to know. Sorry. Has anybody Y'all ever seen borderline sexual activities? Facts. <laughs> Okay, okay, I like has, anybody, has anybody ever gone on a hot air balloon date? Because somebody said they pussy talk hot air balloon date. I want to go on a... Um, <laughs> she said it! Like, pussy talks what date? She said somebody took her on a hot air balloon date. I like friendly comp- friendly competition. I feel like that's really, really you cool. Know what? Hearing about what other people's pussy talk makes me realize... Your pussy not talking. You're talking, bro. She's She's quiet. Cavemen don't understand pussy. Shut up. <laughs> they don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand what I like friendly competition. I like let's go do some competitive sports. How about that? <laughs> That's not sexual, right? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it is. No, no it's not. No, you know. Um, yeah. You know what else? But I felt like you was reaching for that. You <laughs> I had to do it again because y'all kept saying everything I said was sexual. I was trying to find non sexual. Yeah, your fears too was definitely sexual. Picnics. Yeah. I also like games. Depends. So, like, if you're if you're if you're into like actually like going to like oh yeah let's go to like an arcade or like go to like a bar and just like play games. I I think that shit's fun. I whip somebody ass and kill an instinct. <laughs> if you don't let me win, by the way, I'm I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> like if you if you were the nigga that's like oh no I gotta win every single time, it's just not it's not gonna work for me. That's nah. I let the girl win. Just don't think it's sweet. Just don't start talking. Shooting range. Oh my like oh goodness. Hey. Hey, hey Maddie. Can you guys see me? Yes. Well, why can't I see me? <laughs> You're better Are you than high? The I'm always <laughs> <laughs> That's not. That was 
like the dirt joint on the drink joint. Those types of things. All right, so um, is you single and ready to mingle? I will. Oh, uh oh, is that our connection? Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Damn, I got ten minutes. So. Damn, Daddy. Are we good? Getting that service. Okay, you with us? The brace is cute. Yeah, my service isn't good. Okay. Um, <sighs> they only took about six hours. It looks good. It's giving joy. Um, it, <laughs> can can you hear us? Because it's, it's a little shaky for us. I can, I can hear you, but I think my yeah, I think my service is choppy. All right, so we gon' we gonna we gonna try to push through and hopefully not not get disconnected. <laughs> but you got a question? I do have a question. Let's get a boost. <laughs> okay, so if you're out with your significant other, can your significant other dance with somebody else? Why? Doing the doo doo What? No. <laughs> I mean, face to face, right? <laughs> 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 It's like, 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 like a 90s movie. But <laughs> 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 high school dance. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to hate that shit on movies. You want this dance? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nigga, you showing it. I'm standing in front of you. I'm standing in front of you. Somebody said she got kids. And one. Okay. So I got to finish that lyric for you. You gotta finish the rest of this lyric, okay? Oh my gosh, please let me know. Got somebody, she is a beauty. Very special, dearly and truly. I don't know it. I don't know it. I'm gonna give you a different one then. But I'm gonna say it one more time because I'm pretty sure. Sing it. I'm pretty sure that the comments might get it. Got somebody. She is a beauty. No. Got somebody. She is a beauty. You should sing it. Very special, dearly and truly. Got somebody. Watch it and sing it. Watch it. Let me dance face to you. Let me dance face to you. There you go. There you go. Oh, all right. Life is her duty. Fuck it right by my side. Hey, I can get it. Okay. Good job. Your question. Okay. You know, or whatever. I agree. All right. Ready for your next question? Yes. Okay. Are you single and ready to mingle? Ready to mingle. Yes. 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 Hey yo, I don't know. I be kind of thinking like two years ago, like two years ago, it was different. Like, oh no, you're my brother's friend. But now it's like ten years has passed, and I'm like in my thirties, and I be looking at you like, oh, you a little piece of. uh." You look like a little piece of something. Man. <laughs> you don't know what? He's something that I want. <laughs> <laughs> my younger brother, and be like, when I posted him, because he just got the basic training for the army, when I posted him, endless girls from back in the day in high school that we grew up was like, is that, is that your brother? Is that your brother? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, what? Tell him I said hello. Like, no, girl. <laughs> I will not be telling him that. Oh, so I don't. Oh. You tell him. So you tell him. Ways. You tell him that. I mean, honestly, when people, be, when people be saying stuff about my brothers, I do kind of just, like, tell them, like, all right, yeah, go to him, whatever. Yeah, but it depends, because, like, my little brother didn't graduate from the same high school I did. So, if he would have graduated from the same high school I did, all them little friends, no. But when we moved and he graduated from somewhere, I'll or whatever, you know, another part of Merlin that wasn't Moco. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like, you know, I her little brother is cute, y'all. <laughs> he is. How old is he? <laughs> how, how old is he? 29? How old is little? Yes, yeah, he's 29. So, I'm trying to open these fruit snacks. 
So even that little is what you're saying. Okay. He's a little than her. <laughs> so, oh, look, and look, and you eat, you eat at somebody's fruit snacks. I'm throwing these fruit snacks for somebody. I don't eat these. I can't eat these. <laughs> the braces won't let you. All right. I just, I just got my braces tightened today, y'all. So it's like. Oh, I know that's the one. So my, my question for you is you start to notice that your significant other has some questionable spending habits. One day they text you telling you that they lost their job and they have no prospects for a new one. How do you respond? Just like that, that means. I mean, if you just randomly lose your job and it was unexpected, I wouldn't expect you to have any prospects ready. But about in the next week, they're going to be like, you going to give them a seven day, you going to give them a seven day window? Like, you know, my shorty should have me. Like, I'm. Really no, man, man, don't give me a problem. Is what should what should happen? Like, that is the trending lady. I'm not your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a savings account is for. That yes, Keish. Yes, yes, I am a firm believer in that. If I were to, gossip, knock on wood. If I were to lose my job today, I have backup plans for support for money. But it's not it's not the significant other. My only fans. <laughs> Honestly, that only fans will be set up that next day. No lie. Oh, you gotta. Oh. Now I got timed up on content. Your question? Oh, your turn. Okay. Okay. okay, ready for your next question? Yeah. Would you relocate for your significant other? I don't know if they like mine. Uh, I'm just going to grab one. Okay. It depends on where. Okay. It depends on where. I'm definitely relocating for a boo. Because I'm pretty sure that my man is in, is in Houston. So, wait, are you so? Your man is in Houston. Yeah. And you will relocate to my man. Your man is in fucking. But that's not my man. Yeah. Money too. If you're moving to where and if you like, you moving in this, but you moving this for a good reason and it could be that bag or whatever and you got money for me. Your man is in 1300 BC. Uh, John and Ab are um, leaving us, but um, we're coming. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, no, I would relocate for my men only because I kind of feel like one, if I'm able to, like my job is able to, and this is a relationship that I'm actually serious about, then. I, I would prefer to be in the same city as the person who I'm dating. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not necessarily saying, oh, I'm about to drop everything and just go, like, for somebody who I that just met. Situation. But, like, yeah, if it's getting to a serious point where, that like, makes sense. yeah, I know. exactly. Like, you know, I, I would say I'm intimidated. They, you know, they have money to make and plan flights where they can go back and visit, you know, frequently enough that it works it'll work. Something. Yeah. If it's if it's if it's like okay yeah cool we can we can do the whole entire long distance thing, but the thing is I can only I I'm not a long distance person I could probably take that for like a little while. I like the quality time. I feel like I can get that quality because time and still be in the same. To answer the question that you guys have said about like what do you do that's non sexual, but maybe I'm confused, so that's why I'm gonna ask right now. Is it considered non sexual because I have a staring problem? So like I was me too. I said that I have a staring problem too. So I could be looking not because you find because I have a staring problem. Maybe no, but she knows yeah. she's saying that she does. No, no, no she I have a staring problem. Like no, like she does like them. Like she she does that as a non sexual like, thing that, that she likes doing. Like, would that consider me considered like, like just staring? That you do that like just staring at them. Yeah. Like, oh, like somebody who I somebody who you like, you just. But I would just like stare you down and stare at you, and there's as long as you. That's why you have to kind of be like confident in yourself so, around me because I have a stare problem. I'd be like, and there's some people like what, and I'd be like nothing. <laughs> oh. What is the most embarrassing thing that? And then I won't say anything because sometimes I will be like. <laughs> What is the most embarrassing? What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you in a relationship? Oh, okay, that's hard because if you're a person who doesn't really get embarrassed too much. Oh, that's true. That don't work for you. New question. Because <laughs> he'll be like, I found it. Uh. <laughs> 
I get real comfortable real quick. <laughs> you did. I'll put it right in the first day. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> what are your. Oh, actually, finish this sentence. My last relationship taught me. Um, I think I think my last relationship, the biggest thing it taught me was not to fall in love with the potential that somebody has to be. Mm. Because they may never live up to that potential. And because you think that they are going to live to that potential and to get to potential, it takes time. You just give them way more passes mm. than you really fucking should. Mm. Excuse my French, you know what I'm saying? And then that's what keeps things going. And it's like, okay, I have the potential that we can have the White House with the picket fence and kids and be married. And you just keep giving that person pass after pass after pass instead of just taking it. Like, whatever that person showed you, like, that's it's what they are. Is. Yeah. No, that's true. I, all of my exes know that I hate. Mm, I hate. Oh, hate is a strong word. Maybe that's what it is. Because I don't try to use hate, but I don't like. I don't know. I'm really particular about hygiene. So don't have no stinky ass breath. Maybe that's one thing. My next vacation, we going to Tulum. is the only place to open. Girl, <laughs> her next vacation. Her next vacation. <laughs> I really don't know yet. It could be just somewhere where it's nice because I just want like some balcony action. So anywhere that's like a nice ass balcony, like as long somebody needs to have a drone that day because you gonna catch some shit. Girl, girl, y'all gonna be in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Some place really domestic, but look, like, the motherfuckers don't know you out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing that will make you cuss me immediately is that what mm-hmm. make you cuff me. Cut one thing that'll make you cuss me immediately is. And it has to be about me. Mm-hmm. Talk your shit, girl. Oh, yeah. I'm with Alex. Put him on and make him mad. <laughs> marry me. Put him on and make him mad. Marry me. <laughs> 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 she got a vibe. She got a vibe. She got a vibe. <laughs> okay. Let me give you my last question. It's got to be a good one. Let me find a juicy one. No. <laughs> oh, you want more? We can have more. No, she said no, not a juicy one. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. Okay. Your little friend came to see you and the visit turned into an overnight stay. Now your little friend's car got towed. What do you do? <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> Um, I feel like when uh, men answer this question, the expectation is that like you give me a ride and you're paying for it. Yeah. Because yeah, um, if I told you to park wherever you parked at, then like I might I might give you something towards it because that's my fault. I didn't I didn't look out. Now if I didn't uh, and you just parked there on your own and you just decided not to read whatever whatever signs you didn't come in you didn't ask nothing like really big. Like, yeah, no, you want to turn into a straight hoe tonight. I'm just gonna let you know. You gonna turn into a straight hoe tonight? Uber. Hello. <laughs> and Uber back. Right. You know, I'm like. So we got one minute left. So do you want to tell the um the lovely people where you are and whether or not your DMs are open, boo? The DMs have never worked for me. The last time somebody did that, they called me the B word and blocked me. I didn't even do anything, y'all. Oh, oh no! So your DMs are closed. My DMs be closed. Oh, so how how do niggas how do niggas get to you? How how can how can a man man get in contact with you? Oh, I don't even. Oh damn! Oh, not in I the think last we lost her. Yeah. There you go. 